Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our Multiblock Madness series. I am just finished uh, upgrading our all our power to our multi-blocks um, to HV, and I'm just moving some of this stuff to a better location and uh, moved some of my magic -y kind of stuff over here. Um, I don't know. I need to continue clearing this out. Uh, it doesn't take that long. Uh, it just takes a, you know, 10 minutes or whatever with the three by three tools to flatten this all out. Uh, I just haven't got around to it yet, but uh, yeah, I figured I'm just gonna throw this stuff kind of over here. And uh, the cool thing, cycle holding, It actually, you can actually move uh, mana things without uh, losing the mana. So I just thought that was kind of cool. And I figured I would show that. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I don't have anything set up for this yet. Eventually we will do the Kekamiris, I think. The pumpkins into cake using a ritual. Um if we need to start uh, producing lots more mana. But uh, yeah, so last episode we built the our first multi-block, uh, or our first assembly multi-block. I believe there's four different versions of it, um, and they get progressively more complicated. Um, but I have gone ahead and got this one. And... Uh, yeah, I upgraded to the HV. Now, the one major downside of the HV cables is there's no insulated version of them. So, there is insulated LV wire, insulated MV wire, but uh, yeah, the HV wires are kind of deadly. <laughs> so, uh, I think I probably going to die by electrocution multiple times um, with this setup they are very powerful but uh, yeah you take a lot of damage when you get electrocuted so I'm going through a ton of power because I keep flying around running into cables and taking a bunch of damage I'll just show really quick of course it doesn't happen that time there we go <laughs> so that was me <laughs> taking damage so as we can see I'm probably gonna be flying around and do that <laughs> that actually was not <laughs> uh, that actually wasn't intentional right there um, I thought I was flying over it but uh, all right so there we go we'll see and uh, I figured I'll leave it in it could be kind of funny to be honest um, also it might be faster to do uh, just to die as opposed to wait for my parts to fill back up again but uh, yeah so that is that and with that I can actually run um, we did one HV and then I connected the three HV things on the back of this and I can actually run this at a much better rate now than I was before so if we take some iron, I don't want to take too much. I'm going through all my iron. Um, also, I need to get the excavator. Maybe we'll do half a stack because this refined iron, we go through a lot. But uh, as I remember before, I could do like four or five. Now we can actually do all 12 slots and we are getting enough power. So as we can see, that is... Uh, much much better much faster um, all our machines should be getting enough power and uh, yeah there we go Got all that beautiful refined iron that we are getting from that all right so now that we have the assembly machine uh, that should open up quite a few things if we go back to here um, that opens up this metal alloy, which that is uh, that's a lot of big words, scandium. 
mechanism frames, thermal frames, advanced rocketry frames. Um, I'm going to have to take a look at this. This stuff looks so cool. I just have no idea how any of it works, um, but I do want to get into it. So there's a metal alloyer, which will let us go this way, and the empower, which is going to get us to this blast furnace, and I think I kind of want to work towards that because um, this just uses heat, and like we can do steel much easier. That's a weird recipe, right? Is that a weird recipe? I feel like that's a weird recipe. Um, but yeah, we can just make stuff so much easier. Like, this gets us tier 5 metals, it looks like. So, yeah. And like aluminum, we don't need to do it through the, the thing. And Yeah, so the Blast Furnace is, I think, a pretty important step here so the empower as we remember my one thing that was stopping us from moving forward were the advanced coils and uh ooh, that's actually easier can i do the yeah all right so <laughs> they're getting a little bit easier we don't need the treated sticks i mean they're not much cheaper but uh being able to put it in the advanced assembly machine um just makes life a little bit easier. Um, so I guess uh, let me do some crafting now. Question is, where the heck am I going to put this? Um, this needs to all go down. Uh, I need to break all this and move it away. I could throw it over here kind of thing. I don't need it right in the middle of the base anymore. So... Uh, Yeah, I guess we could go off here. Um, although this only does a thousand. I'm just thinking, like, how are we going to power the Empower Recipes is what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me get my thing cleaned up a little bit here, and let's get the Empower going. Also, throw that on there. Okay, I'm just crafting up the final casings that we need here. Oh, I should grab that. Also, I'm going to craft up a couple more. Is that just... Oh, wait, I have the wrong thing. No! I thought that was the machine casing one. Do I... I could have sworn I had the... Uh... Is there no... Hold on. Man! There is an elite. <laughs> there is a... There's a capsules for these things. Ah, man. I keep forgetting to check the uh, capsule. Um, this. Mach machine frame. Alright. There we go. I was like, I thought there was. There. Did I not... I thought I'd got... Okay, I did. I'm not... Man, I'm not crazy. I knew we were going to be crafting up more of these, so that's why I got it. Alright, cool. Also, can I put another one down as that's working? I don't want to, like, mess it up, but... Oops. Left click, then right click. There we go. Um, I did look into the enhanced redstone block. I don't think we can do that quite yet. Chlorite and zinc gears. Yeah, we don't have that. So I was hoping we'd be able to get that one, but not yet. All right. So that, I think, is that. Also, while I'm here, let me craft up a couple more capacitors. Thankfully, these are really easy to craft up, especially with the Infinity Dust Farm. Um, but there we go. And power, is that everything? Yes. All right. Cool. Easy enough with the... Uh, now that we can craft up the coils. 
So there we go. Um, what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to move this. And I think I'm just going to add a couple more because the more you add, the more you can pull out. But uh, I want to throw this on top because you may notice that uh, I killed myself again. I'm going to leave those up <laughs> because I think it's kind of funny. You see, if they get kind of annoying, we'll move them. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I think I got this... No, maybe I didn't. I thought I had that sorted out, but now I'm thinking maybe I don't. Um, Because that shouldn't be turning on unless it's... Mid signal when storage is less than 25%. Yeah, so maybe it's not... Maybe it doesn't work like that exactly. I will have to take a look at that. Maybe I need to move it to like here and then have a redstone conduit. Maybe it doesn't work quite how I thought that would. But uh, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to like raise that up a little bit so I had a bit more room. This one is still, <laughs> that is still deadly. But the other ones, the other ones aren't too bad. Uh, looks a bit silly, but uh, yeah, now we can get 3,000 out of it anyway. So, question is, do we want to put this Empower stuff like right here? And then I can just run that underneath. This is probably going to be moved, I'm pretty sure. So is it two away? I think it's two away, isn't it? Does it matter? I don't remember if it matters. Alright, uh, let me get this connected underneath. I'm just going to run some of the energy conduits underneath. I'm not going to connect it with <laughs> immersive engineering cables. You can if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then, let's take a look. So, it wants... Really? Common loot from nether fortresses. Um, you can make carbon plates by using a block of charcoal. Let's take a look at the recipe. All right, so dense carbon, intermedium, hmm. Energetic silver, advanced alloy. We need a rolling machine. We don't have pressurizer. We don't have a rolling machine either. All right, so this is a little bit. Oh, right here. No, that's same stuff. Okay, what does it say? You can do... Ah, metal press. That metal press thing. Alright, I'm... Oh, of course. Like that? Alright, hold on. Let's do... Spooky. Uh, let's do... This. Intermedium, though. I do not have any of that. So does this... All right, no, carbon brick. Is that not what I wanted us to do? I'm a little, uh, oh, what is, ah, there we go. Is that what we needed? I don't remember. Advanced, what was it? Advanced machine frame. Dense carbon plate. That is not what I wanted. Hmm. By using a block of charcoal in a metal press. I thought that was that. Is it maybe without a thing? I'm just kind of curious. I, I don't know. Block of charcoal. Let's do uses, maybe? Nope, there is that. Is it that metal? No, I'm not seeing that. Yeah, interesting. The only thing I'm seeing is, is that what, wait, is that what it meant? You can make carbon, oh, okay. That, no, okay, I guess that is right. 
All right. So I guess that is right. If we use cold coke, we actually get more. All right. So that is that. Do we need a rolling machine then? Is that is that what we need? Hmm. That's a bit surprising. Although it does say common loot from nether fortresses. I don't remember seeing any of these in there. I can go check that out. Now that we have like glitch armor and stuff, we can fly. It's not that bad. Um, I don't know how many we actually need for the blast furnace though. Isn't it quite a few? I don't remember what the actual multi-block looks like. I would have to look that up because I don't remember. Although, is there a industrial? No, that's EIO. No, nope. I'm not seeing a Verse of engineering, Verse of engineering. No, nope. not seeing one for that. I'm gonna have to look that up. I, I really don't remember if it needs. Does it need advanced casing, or do we just need that for the the thing? Maybe I don't know. But we got power furnaces, not a problem. Rolling machine. Do we have a rolling machine? We can craft a rolling machine. Did we craft one up? I don't remember. Grinder, extractor. No, we didn't craft that one up. Um, Alright, so. I think we can do everything. We can craft all that stuff up. I do need this roller thing. Rolling machine. Uh. So let's throw that there and uh, this advanced machine frame. I got to figure out how many we need. If we only need the one, then uh, yeah, let me go. Uh, let's head to the nether, I think, and see if uh, I can find one of these uh, things. I Oh, I remember. No, no, no. Change plan. Scanner. That uh, inventory scanner. I think we can craft one of those up. That makes it a lot easier. I think. Oh, can we not do... I thought there was a... Yeah. No. Nope. Remote scanner. Storage scanner. Yeah, that's easy. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright. It's not impossible. Palace crystal we can get. Thaumium we can get. Insulating glass we can get. Alright. So should we get the storage scanner? It does make finding stuff easier. All right. Let's see. Does this make it cheaper? It does make it not cheaper. No. Yes. It does make it cheaper. You get more. All right. Cool. That's good to know. Let me... Uh, yeah, let's get this crafted up and we... We'll be back, man. That insulating glass is annoying. The pulverized iron. Alright, there is the machine frame. I didn't craft up... Where did it go? What the heck? I just lost... Did I just lose that? I think I just lost a coil. Why does it say waiting for server? What's going on? Alright, that was a bit weird. I left the world and rejoined and it like rolled back a little bit it seemed. So, not sure what happened there. Just uh... A weird Minecraft thing. Alright, so there is that. And nope. Oh, that. There we go. Storage scanner. Now can't remember. This does need power. Uh I could probably borrow this really quick. Fill it up. And that actually lasts for quite a while. I could even bring it with. Uh, eh, maybe we should bring it with, just in case. Alright. But the cool thing about this is... That we can just plop it down and then we can see all the chests in the thing. Yo oh god. Yo oh god. Yo 
Yep. Downside of having the thing exposed, mobs from the uh, overworld can end up in the nether. Alright, we are being attacked. Let's do a scan. Where am I being? Hello. Goodbye. There we go. So we can scan the chest and yeah. So I don't remember seeing this anywhere in uh, another fortress, but hey, you never know. But uh, basically just go around. It doesn't have a unlimited range. Like that didn't find any. Also, where were you? I don't think it was that one. But uh, all right. Let me continue looking around and we will see if I can find. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, well, you saw it here. Got an advanced machine frame. We got that zinc ingot, emerald chest plate, iron, steel. I don't know, Corail, I don't really care about Enderwing, Dark Boots, Biome Crystal, no idea what that is. Eh, yeah, sure, we'll take that. Alright, but, uh, I swear I went through all of the, <laughs> the chests, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. We also got a data storage thing, which is kind of cool. So, all right, I guess I will do some more searching. I swear I went through all these chests, and now I'm finding all this stuff. Hmm. <laughs> so, all right. Storage scanner, pretty cool. Lava charm, we don't need capacitor. And a lot of this stuff. Need to upgrade your inventory. Is that... Yeah, there we go. We have an extended inventory. Interesting. What is this? Reusable Ender Pearl. Rod of Elevation. Zinc Ingot. Zinc Ingot, actually, I want to take. Magic Bean, don't need. Light Blue Rune Quark. I don't know if we're going to need any of those. This is just not all that exciting. All right, well, we got the thing that we need while we're here. Um, I may come back and explore that a little bit more. Um, like I said, the storage scanner only has 20... It's, a, it's like 20 range or something like that. So, if you want to really make sure you get everything, you kind of have to... I wasn't paying attention to where I was going, so I might have missed stuff. But, uh, teleport to world spawn. Doesn't world spawn like right over there? Yeah. It wasn't actually very far. Uh, do we have any use for this? Uh, probably not, since it's right there. So, yeah, we'll just throw that there. It'll just spawn. I don't think we need to have that. Now, I don't know what the difference between. Oh, is that portable ender chest? Oh, that's cool. I don't know where the other one would be. Is it like on an ender chest? Do you put it? But uh, all right, so we got our machine thing. Let me craft up the rest of, I don't know, really know why I took this. This is just gonna sit in my inventory forever. I'm never gonna use it. Um. Pray near a decorative grade by holding a receptacle in your offhand, allowing you to bring back to life your familiar. I'm going to throw that in there for now, along with that and that. Alright, just getting the stuff needed for the rolling machine. And uh, there we go. Need one more of these. Getting pretty fast with that. <laughs> I don't know how many more of these we're going to need. 
I don't know how prominent Tech Reborn is in the pack. I know the Um, I know the Blast Furnace is pretty important, but I don't know how many single block machines are going to be important. I guess I could just throw these on the back. I don't need to make a huge long line of them. Although I do love, <laughs> I do love long lines of machines. Um, so we need the, what are they like? Cooper Nickel? All right, we got that. We got that. Oh, also the circuits. Um, I was kind of thinking, I think this one's actually easier than having to do this. So like refined electrum, you get two and then you do that. Well, that I have to do rubber. If you go the other routes, you actually don't need, um, you actually don't need rubber for the other one. So I don't know. We'll see, uh, but we need constant and heating coil. We need four of those. Yeah, so we need eight constant 10. Now we can craft these up easy enough, right? There was, that's the newest. Yeah, that's the easiest way we can do it now. So nickel and copper. I couldn't remember if we had opened up a even easier one. Oh god. I almost electrocuted myself. Is it does it have to be dust? I actually haven't crafted it up in this yet. Alright, it does look like it needs to be dust. Which not the end of the world. Can you speed this up? I can, I can never remember if you can speed up these blocks. I never know what to hit. Uh, like this one is that center block. Which, what block is that? I Maybe it's whatever block you hit. That's probably what it is. Whatever block you hit with the, the thing to form it is probably the block do that is probably the block that you would hit with the time in the bottle is my guess i i don't know if that is true but that is my guess all right cool so there is that careful with the flying <laughs> uh, i should have uh i should have tuned myself to astral sorcery so as i'm running all over the place i'm building experience now these i know you can and it does seem like you can just hit it a whole bunch of times and it doesn't seem to struggle with power so it's good to know all right so there is that that i just need these two things which uh, that's a bit annoying to craft up the casings yeah do these ever get easier I haven't really looked, but uh, no, it doesn't look like the materials ever get easier. There's just a automated way to do it. All right, let me get those crafted up and then we will kind of take a look at what we need to do. I think we need like 34 of those. That is a lot, but uh, yeah, we'll be right back. And there we go. There is the final bit. Two powered furnaces. Industrial blast furnace. And we got those from a quest, I believe. And, uh, yeah. So that is that. The quest uh, requires 34 standard machine casings. Uh, we should be able to see the thing when we place it down. I'm also not seeing a rolling machine. I thought maybe we would see a quest for the rolling machine. But was that it over there? No, nope. implosion compressor. No, don't see it anywhere. Oh well. Uh, so thinking, I think a lot of this stuff is going to be torn down relatively soon. Um, especially this. I think this is all can be crafted up. Um, I just want to see the blueprint. So I think you place this down. 
yeah so basically it's just the casings and you put you put lava buckets in the center and we even get the lava buckets as a a thing should i let's see the casings right there four i need 34 right is that so i need to do that nine times 18 circuits nine of these all right that's gonna take me some time to craft up uh we will come back next episode we will get our blast furnace built we'll come back with all these crafted up um and we will see what we can get it looks like we're gonna have to start doing this route next um but i will look into that also but anyway that's gonna be it for this episode so thanks for watching and have a good one